on business and enterprise. We are in Mongo district of the Western Province, where we feature Mr. Ikanuke Noyo, founder of Adastra Fruit Juice Processors. Adastra Fruit Juice Processors is a citizens' economic empowerment funded project specialized in mango juice and mineral water production. As part of its mandate to promote rural industrialization, the Citizens Economic Empowerment Commission, CEEC, has funded 21 projects in Mongo District of the Western Province as part of its goal to promote mango value addition towards mango industrialization. I saw an opportunity and we, 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 we took advantage of that. Uh, one, there's a lot of mango in the Western Province. So in total, Adastra Fruit Juice Processors has been given uh, 1.7 million kwacha, which is 1,750,000. 1, Under full capacity, Adastra Fruit Juice Processors is able to produce 16,000 liters of mango juice in a single 8-hour shift each day, amounting to a total of 64,000 per 5 milliliter bottles of mango juice each day. We have a pulper there which is going to be producing one ton per hour of pulp. And then that one ton of pulp, which is mixed with water one-to-one, -one, is going to give us two tons, which is equivalent to 2,000 liters. 2,000 liters will be packaged in 500 mils bottles, which will give us roughly about 8,000 bottles per hour, and we'll be doing an eight-hour shift. We used to have what you call Zamhot. Zamhot was only able to do three tons per day and we are able to do eight tons in one eight hour shift. So if you went to two shifts, we'll be able to do 16 tons. On the other hand, the plant has a capacity to produce 8,000 liters of mineral water in a single eight hour shift each day. You see, we do not, we cannot use water from the tap to mix with the mango juice. You have to use purified water. So we have a system already which is available, where we're going to put the purified water. The water will go into the tanks and it will be bottled here. Some of it will be sold as uh, bottled water and some of it will be used with the mango. So when we are off season, most likely we are going to be using, we are going to be selling uh, uh, bottled water. So this factory will not close down and it will not be a white elephant. Adastra Fruit Juice Processors has become an employer for both full-time and part-time employment in the community and Mr. Noyo describes the success of his business to be a major development in his community. Our projections are that um, we are going to have about 20 full-time employees who consist of the driver who's already been working, the two directors, we have uh, three guards and then we have the factory people. Two people working on the machines and then there'll be people who'll be helping. When we are in season, we are going to have an extra 20 people who are going to work as casuals in order to help with the peeling and the cutting of the mangoes. This project is ideal because it will also have ancillary projects on the site. That mango residue which will be removed can also be used for stock feed and as, uh, as an organic fertilizer. So we can be packaging that and people can make uh, organic fertilizer from that to grow their crops in a in user-friendly way, chemical-free way. And then we also are going to create employment for the farmers, the owners of the mangoes, and also for their, those young people who are going to be removing the mangoes from the trees, packing them in sacks, and then transporting here. We'll give employment to the farmers, we'll give employment to the people who remove the mango, and we'll give employment also to the transporters, because the transport we have will not be adequate to meet the demand capacity of this place. Our estimation is that this project is capable of making close to one million kwacha uh, every uh, one million kwacha every three months from our production. So we are talking about four to five million kwacha every year. Adastra will create wealth and it will create employment for the local people. Uh, the reason being, as we are producing, we are going to have these employees we are talking about. These employees have families and they've got people they're looking after who go to school. So the money will be trickling down from them up to the grassroots. Mr. Noyo has some advice for the youth and attributes his business success to CEEC. The youth, first of all, should get a skill. Either as a brick worker, a bricklayer if you like, because this, this place was built by bricklayers. 
a welder, they are the ones who put up this roof. And a carpenter, they are the ones who did the roof and uh, the terraces. Electrician, they are the ones who did the electricity. So by the end of the day, first of all, they must get a skill, either by going to the trade school and so on. That will teach them to be more responsive and even more focused on what they do. Uh, they should not believe in being casual workers perpetually. Let them get a skill either at trade craft level or as skilled workers at uh, certificate level, diploma level, whichever level they can. And then from there, they should not be afraid to go into business. When you have those skills, like a carpenter, you can either be employed or you can employ yourself. We have a lot of timber in the Western Province. We have a lot of cash art in the Western Province. This place is so indoor, and we have a lot of underground water. CEC have been very good partners from the time we started in 2014, even today. I think we enjoy a good working relationship with CEC. They have been very encouraging and very supportive. We intend to see a growth in terms of the population of people who are working in this, in this province and in this town, as we have more job creation through the setting up of more industries. That will inspire people from not going outside Mongo to go and look for work. We are looking at uh, cutting out people from uh, Kenya who are exporting mango to Zambia. People from, we are drinking mango also from Egypt. Egypt is a desert, but they are able to produce mango, which is drunk in Zambia. So these are some, some of the things which we look at as Adastra, and we wanted to take that niche. Business and enterprise which is Adastra fruit juice processors, the best of luck in their success.